Okay, so I have the hay cart here in front of mom and baby. And I was gonna give her some out of my hand, but I decided to use it for scratching. I've done this before on others. They just seem to be a little bit more accepting when it's not your hand. And then eventually I start touching with my fingers, but uh, she's standing nicely, allowing me to scratch her with the hay. And that is super progress. She's doing great. And so now I'm gonna touch, touching her with my fingers. And I don't know if she knows it. It's really hard to reach <laughs> when the panel stops me, but I touched her and that makes me so happy. Good girl. And her lips are moving softly like a little mumble. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. I can't reach you. So I had one person criticize me using the, the stick, uh, but it's a way to make your arm extended um, and not so short, and you can keep a safe distance. It's just like rubbing them with your fingers. Uh, like I did with the baby across the baby's back and she just stepped up for more. So I'm going to see if I can reach her. More? I think she enjoyed that. So there's lots of tools you can use and different people use different things. And uh, there's no one way to gentle a horse or a donkey. Uh, everybody has their own method. And uh, we do like to do a lot of touching because we have to handle them a lot. And we have to get them gentle to be able to halter them if we need to medicate them uh, for farrier, things like that. We have to be able to touch them. And so, Please don't criticize our methods because we've done it for quite a while. And uh, you can see that she was very calm for me and trusting. <laughs>